Didn't do anything, man. It just came in. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Please, please do everything in your power to restore my pictures. I don't really care if my phone works. It's the pics and videos that are important. I have a year's worth of data on this phone, plus one of my baby's births. Do everything imaginable and possible. I will forever be grateful to you. All right, guys, make it happen. I trust you. Should we just move the plates and put it in the crest, or is that too? Yeah, no, so has anybody else want to take a look at it? Any Uncle Ben worked on it. So this was sent to a, a different company first. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, what is, what is that? There's some tech damage there. It looks like some. Uh, somebody was in there with a solder. Something missing. Is that charge resistance or protection? We remove the shields, see what they look like under there. Alright, what I can Let's have Mark do a demo of that because that's something you guys all need to know and he's an expert. Mark, you can just jump there. She can just jump in. You guys want to remove the shields? Alright, so talk talk us through this, Mark. Okay, so uh, what I like to do is let gravity pull the shield off the board by holding the shield, heating the shield, and just letting the board drop, you know, half inch onto the mat. It's the mark drop mat. Yeah. I've tried many ways, and this is what works best consistently for me. So that was the uh, Wi-Fi. Given the button. Yeah, disconnecting the antenna, because I'm going to heat this shield up. I don't want to melt that antenna. Right. Get enough light? Uh, yeah. I could give you a little more if you need it. No, that's fine. All right. Well, you're looking for a place that you can grab so, the yeah. shield without touching any of the components underneath. Right. You want me to get a bigger nozzle? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We're going to need a bigger nozzle. Nozzle. We're going to need a bigger nozzle. Mm. What? So on the set, do you use a bigger nozzle? Um, when you're removing shields, you want to use definitely a bigger nozzle than this. Mm -hmm. um, I like. Oh, that's on any phone. I like yeah. big nozzles and I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. Today's lesson, what did you learn? <laughs> nozzles. Nozzles. <laughs> the bigger, the better. Size matters. <laughs> We're still black. It's, it's not just the length, it's the. The, the hot pad? Come on, pussy. Grab it off. <laughs> <laughs> Janky ass shop. <laughs> Boom. All right. Guy, well, PCS didn't even know what those are for. That's that's the one he was looking for. <laughs> so it's set to a high setting. Yeah, it's below, set to um, a little over seven. Okay. Seven. <laughs> not to be confused with eight right. or six. <laughs> Below air so you're gonna not, now. Is does the where is the where where are these attached? All the edges or so also through the center? There's, um, yeah. These will have little like cross pieces in the center that are soldered. Okay. And then around the edges. Okay, so there it um, does go. Right, but the whole the, shield is metal, so you know the the, the shield is going to heat up, and then the the heat from the shield is going to melt the solder that holds it to the board. And it's just going to drop off. Right. I think we might need a little more temperature. Someone grab a dial. Time to go to eight. Yeah. Crank it up. Go up to Crank it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's not, is, it a, is it a Marshall heater? How much is it? That's fine. Now sure. these cages. Tweezers are acting uh, as a heat sink too, but. I would use a razor blade on the edges. Uh, what's what's been before? Look at that. Yeah, Boom. Boom. That's Boom much goes That was pretty good. The mounts on the board are all intact. They're not we'll do pulled. Let's get right. this one. All right, tell us about what's under there. Um, this, the CPU is under there. There's capacitors along the edge. There's uh, backlight display driver. PMU, black, backlight driver, diode, some coils along the top. Um, I always approach this one in this corner and just go straight down. You know, tweezers are parallel with the length of the board. Okay. I take the one he just took off. I put it in the Omni vise and put heat on the difficult shield that he's going to do last, and then that bottom one will fall off at the same time by itself. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Put 
splits. Wow, and there's the water damage. Uh, more present, noticeable. So it's um, actually yeah, pretty we'll easy. So there's a thermal paste that is normal on the iPhone 6 CPU. Yeah, it came off with the shield this time, but sometimes it stays on the CPU. Um, it's, it's not conductive, um, and it's not like something weird that shouldn't be there. Is it? Uh, does it react to heat? Will it get gooey? Um, no, it, it stays kind of like a... Like if you look at it under the microscope, it's, it's like a bunch of little balls in this kind of... Do we have the reapply so yeah, re thermal paste like a computer? I don't think you do. Um, not for data recovery. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. Boom. <laughs> we don't have to put it back on, but in this, in this case, but sometimes you do, huh? Sometimes you do, and we will for this because it's an insurance. And it's, they want to turn it in for insurance. Ah. So after we recover the data, we want to make the board look kind yeah. of normal. So yeah. that's why they have two weeks. Yeah. Of the insurance. Yeah. Nobody's uh, and then just, you know, put some uh, leaded solder on my tweezer tip and then just touch the pad and kind of leave it like that. I'll wiggle it from there. Boom. All right. You want to remove the one shot? All right, class. Back mm -hmm. to you. No, no, I, I would if there was any sign the water got down there. Once it gets cold down, we should transport it to the. So, what do we want to do from here? Uh, it doesn't look so much damaged. I would try to clean this mess to see what's happening here. Well, that seems to make sense. sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if, maybe there is if, a short to maybe ground. Maybe we found or... lots of corrosion. Then you know, next step would be the crest. And I think you should put it in the crest. Anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I, you wouldn't clean that off before. Nope. There is this, uh, I would let the crest do that. The crest will clean it off. Okay. Should we use scrubbing bubble? No. <laughs> no, we're trying to actually recover the data. Oh, I <laughs> so now with this, with this, you have to prepare this uh, prior to performing one of these uh, submerged. Oh, sure oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mark's going to be on timing of the of the crest for the cigarette method. <laughs> the solution is already. Yeah, so that already has the 3% Branson EC. You can see the bottle of Branson right there. It's in distilled water that you can also see right there. And it's already kind of been turned on and heated up to 60 degrees. So, so we steam it. So it's nice. So you're ready to just throw it in there? Yeah. How'd you do the 60 degrees? It has a, a heater. It it tells, yeah, it's, it's got a dial with numbers on it. tells you how many temperature you get up there? Yeah. You think a whole water for this? You, you can, safe, yeah. Right? Well, it doesn't really have any added benefit. Like, okay. yeah. So you recommend 60? Yeah. You okay. see the waves? Yeah, that's Stick your finger in there, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> My jewelry cleaning is better. Hogs <laughs> <laughs> uh, here. Does it matter? Um, yeah, I mean, one of them is kosher, one of them isn't. Got is it really horse and is it really pig? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be boar's hair. You better be careful. It's not kosher. We should look. We should look at that area that was really damaged. Like the. Let's see that. That's missing the hole. Is the volt meter? Yeah, it's pretty on the continuity. That's what you get. A couple of beats against ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the orientation is a little bit wonky. Oh, okay. Look at all your guys' heads. Shit, I'm making it really hard. Anyways, this, you can, can you tell. turn it? Can you turn it around? So you can, oh my oh, God! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, body. Right there. All right, uh, something's here, but nothing's there. So we should probably look at seeing whether this cap is salvageable, that one on the water damage that we just treated, and then find out what that is up there. And, yeah. uh, this is probably, it looks like a resistor. A resistor is it's, like a faucet. Yeah, it's an inline, it could be a, it could be a filter. Um, I can't really tell from the image on the screen. Yeah. Only way to find out, if he wants to uh, have the honors. Someone grab out the... Beeper. Beeper? There's a beeper right there. <laughs> Someone use the beeper. There you go. There you go. Yeah, What's your plan? Well, uh, my
my plan is to figure out whether or not this capacitor is good. Is that a bad plan? What do you guys oh. think? Alvin, what's your plan? Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Both sides of this thing go to ground. My plan, my plan is to... This is toast. So two beeps means that it is shot. They're both going to ground. So this it's thing shorting. Is shorting directly to ground. So this this is bad. Okay, so we got to replace that. So this one's got to be. Replaced. Whoa! Says who and why and tell me your plan. Oh. Um. Oh, that's right. It's just the line that's shorted. It isn't necessarily the component. What line is it? Um, schematics. Yeah, I don't know. We need a computer. Who's got the schematics? Mm -hmm. So I just put uh, the SSD and 16 gig RAM. Mm -hmm. So it's very fast. Oh, the are the Right. All right. Oh, you can read that? Awesome. <laughs> I mean, I could tell. I mean. Wow. iPhone 6. Now we have to locate that component on one of these two. So it's the yellow one. Where is that? Uh, let's see. You mean okay. B and A or B? B. All right, B. B. And towards the yeah, right towards bottom right. left. Bottom left. Right down. Right. Yeah, down. The capacitor oh, right man. there. Oh, right here. Right. 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 Wow. So we've got this. I love so that. this. That side, what should that be? That's uh, ground. Let's do pen right there. Right. And what line <laughs> is that on? ECC main. Can you tell from what's displayed there what line that's on? The main. Right. Yeah. So What's the name of the component? U5201. The US It's yes, CS202 RF. I have a question. What's the name of this component right here? Which one? Name? Yeah. The one right below it. Yeah. C1200. C1200. Question Is C1200 shorted? Yes or no? Let's find out. Stand by. So, this is better than looking. This is C1200. Should be shorted. This is the best investment right here. Is this is this free or is that software? Yeah, this is one of those it is not free. I wish it was free. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to give me a hand with that. Where's the I need the I need the picture. I use schematics. Ladies and gentlemen, I need some picture here. Help him figure out which one is C twelve hundred. Somebody, how much is this? Give me a hand. Right there. Which one is it? I'm thinking of this one. There you go. Who? What I win? So is that going to be shorted? Should be. It should be. Yes. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. Just somewhere right here. Test to see. I'm trying to stop stuttering. Yeah, it's too deep. Beamworks. That's your signature. Okay. That is shorted. It's a two feet from it. You're on the shoulder. No, he's not touching it. I'm not touching the shield. There, there is risk involved. So, no. <laughs> so it's shorted. So this, so this okay, so my question so, was. How'd you come up with that one? Yeah, because it's, because it's red. Well, yeah, so but you see, him, you see how many busted. reds are there? I mean, all, all, all right, I've got red. another question. This one's for Saul. So hop up, and Saul's going to be there. Saul, oh, is okay. this capacitor shorted? Go find out. Go find out. Okay, got it. Now let's come back over here. And my question was, is, uh, are these guys shorted? All right, so we see where they are. There's like two funky looking guys and there's two kind of in the middle. Yeah. So let's click back to our view. What's this That's a piece of the adhesive that there's a sticker usually over the thing. That's probably a piece of the bristle from the hogs here. Yeah, that's a little. Hog hair dander. Hog dander. <laughs> <laughs> so ground and then doesn't matter which which side of the tool that you use. Oh it's enough for you. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> uh, there we go. It's gonna be a configuration. Hey, that was a multimeter, not us. Oh, there's it. there's our Yep. Now what about one that's unrelated? How about that one? 
Oh, maybe it's not unrelated. How about that one? I think that one is unrelated. <laughs> Which one? This one? Yeah. That one is extra shiny. That's interesting. How about this one here? And also be very careful that you're not touching the edge of that yeah, frame. Yeah. yeah. Going around it. Okay, not that one. No, the big one. The big one to the right. To the right. A little more to right the right. Here we go. Okay, so that's oh, not sweet. that's not related, so it's doing the right thing. So it's just that one that we have to look for and analyze and kind of um, find the light bulb. In the All right, so what is the current status of this phone? Does it have a short, yes or no? Yes. 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 What line is shorted? The one that has to do with the... Uh, the All right, let's learn the name of it because that's important. So click back. I don't know the name. Yeah, just click, click on, on the click component. On, click on here. Yeah, it's here. Oh. The, main. the VCC main. Okay, VCC main. Is that important? Yes. 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 Will the phone power on if VCC main is shorted? No. No. Should we try it just to confirm? We can, but we don't, we don't want to miss anything more. Okay. So, in, you know, I would agree with that for this important sensitive data recovery. But what do you predict would happen if we did attach a known good battery to this board, a known good screen, and a known good dock right now, and hit the, plugged it into the charger to power it on? The short would dump everything to ground and it would heat up and not work. I think you're right, and that is true. Okay, so we will not actually do that because this is a legitimate data recovery, but that, that is the finding that you would make if you had decided to say, let's see what happens out of the crest before testing around with a multimeter. So you guys skipped ahead of that step and found the short before, you know, what would happen if you connected it to DC power supply? If we were to solder two wires to the battery connector and connect that to DC power, set the DC power to 3.7 volts, and then power the phone on, what would we, the DC power would then give us an output and tell us how many milliamps were being consumed. Would it be high or low? High. 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 Yeah, very, very high. Yep. Actually, it's, uh, if it's a safe multimeter. <laughs> 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 Okay, make it happen then. Yeah, let's see it. Do we, uh, where's the tweezers? Let's get this turned on. Yeah, but where's the, uh, so this is the bad Christmas bulb. Maybe it's that one. Let's take it off and see if we relieve the short. Because remember, how does a capacitor actually short? In, if this is the actual bad guy, and we don't know, maybe it's one of the other ones. Um, if it's actually shorted, it means inside it's lost its insulation and the little plates inside it have crushed together, turning it into a wire, wire. wire. exactly. Dumping yeah. So if we take this now wire off, yeah. then what happens to our short? It would be gone. It would go away. Exactly. And but you, don't, you wouldn't add another one, would you? Not for data recovery. Yeah, 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 not for data recovery. All right, so that cat's got to go. Got to go. That's so if you were trying to salvage the phone. What? How would I take it off? No, I'm not asking. I, I believe it's. Oh, you think you think this is going to solve the whole phone? I believe it's the correct next step. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. What's that? Pulling the capacitor. I think is the correct thing to do. Because it's in the circuit. It's near the damage. There's nothing else ugly far away. It's the first place to start. It's the best place to start. Don't touch your tweezers. Hey, you forgot to touch the tip of the tweezers if they're hot. You have to touch them. Test the thermocratic characteristics of the tweezers. Bam! Okay. Nice job. All right, very. It's okay. You can just. Just dump it off into the, well, you know. Dump it into the cleaner. Yeah. But if you wanted to save it, like if you were investigating, you could solder it to, uh, you could solder it right here or something. Just like stick it there and that way you would have it if you, like we're taking off many and you wanted to put them back if it wasn't the right one. You know, and that's what I do a lot is I'll solder it to uh, the frame or a screw hole or something so that I can get it back. It's 
like a pain, it's like a painter's canvas. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Let me not forget my favorite board right now. All right, now what, guys? Now we test, test. to see if the short is gone. Test. All right, Anthony, you're up. No oh. <laughs> 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 beep. No beep. It's an off. No, oh, maybe. No, it's an off. So, and yeah, that was the short. The wires had melted, and that was the cause. So, yep, so there it is. So you get no beep. So this is no longer shorted to ground right here. So now, is there any way to confirm that in case it's just like the flux is preventing the tips from touching it or something? Go to another chip. Let's try and see one of the other ones that was previously shorted, which should now not be, not be, not be shorted, right? If we re really relieved, if we found the bad bulb on the whole Christmas tree line, then they're all, yeah, then they're all, they're all going to no longer be shorted, right? I thought they were in No, it's backward. No, we're good. That's it. Got lucky on that Where's one. That cap. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Show progress. All right. So now what? Somebody owes me a beer. Fire it up. Oh. <laughs> it looked like you were hovering there. God, this is so nice. I think this is like yeah. I think, I've seen videos when she sent us the email. I've seen videos of this. I couldn't understand nothing yeah. of it. Because there was all a Chinese guy talking about it, but <laughs> I was saying, I'm like, oh, look, he's clicking. It goes red, and then it goes white. And then it's <laughs> Where are we putting the data from this phone? So we, we pulled the off. We'll put it on, on this computer, if, we'll if that's... Okay. You want to turn it on, the or you'll just project it here? that was causing... That oh, causing yeah, we'll just project it. The entire line. Going through. Correct, mm -hmm. because it was, it was shorting out um, it when was it was grounding. Nothing. Um, oh... Bad screen, perhaps? Did, did, did you turn the power on? Yeah, it's plugged in. Yeah. It's plugged in, but did you actually... And oh, wait, 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 I plugged it in, yeah. yeah. Is the battery jar? I love these stories, man. Aren't so they great? Different problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if maybe something else that has to do with charging. Maybe they tried plugging it in after water damage, so it's probably something else. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no matter how the screen is on any goes, either that or the screen isn't plugged in properly. Maybe the screen. connector on the screen is bad. And backlight or backlight, who knows? I have to unplug the batteries so probably Stop looking at me like I'm going to tell you the answer because I'm just <laughs> going to sit here and listen to you guys figure it out. I, I believe that you can solve this phone. Unplug disconnect the battery. Yeah, disconnect the battery. You don't want to have that power. Yeah, disconnect the LCD and connect the box. Maybe if the other, uh, I don't think it was covered with flux, but if the other company and tried to, maybe that earwax that was on the pin <laughs> reflect it. Yeah. So you want to do an, another general inspection of the board? So what are you guys thinking right now? I don't know. Check does the phone power on? It does. Apparently it does. It does. Okay. Does, so what's the problem then? The LCD. Okay, and what do we need for data recovery? Power on? Solved. Display and touch. Display and touch. And touch. Yes. So, so we need to have display, which means image and backlight. So now we got to find where the backlight filter is. So Wait, so the image was in the screen. The Z X nine thousand. Is that true? I I don't remember, but we can try again. The, the image. I don't believe there was. All right, go with that, Alvin. Let's hear your thoughts. What is it on the side? Well, there's no backlight. Then we just checked the uh, backlight filter. Or the dial, but uh, we'll actually have to see an image on the screen with light on it before we do light. Did you see that screen light up? No, the no, screen did not light up. I didn't see uh -huh. it. But yeah, check the connection. But iTunes came up on the computer. Oh yeah, yeah. so then I'll back light. So <clears throat> we're just probably right looking at wait, wait, what? Is the top right pin is kind of like? If the touch is still working, we can just sort of finger with it. Yeah. Where's the backlight filter? <laughs> All right, let's go with Alvin again. It's not plugged in. All right, so go in that same window, and we'll just open the iPhone 6 schematic. Not use this. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. But I like that way of thinking. That's I, I love it because this it's it's sort of like what else can I do to solve the problem? You know, it's it's thinking out you know like solutions, practical solutions. 
you know, and, and, and there may be some, like, role for that concept. I, I really like it. Here's the backlight drive. What, what if you press it on cold three times? I think we can maybe give it, like, two shots, and after that, if it doesn't work, then maybe we... What is it even hiding? Yeah, that sounds good. Somewhere. And, oh, there you go. Success. All right, now Yay. click on that. Yeah, okay. Did it click? No. Nope. Click, it. click on one of the other pads of it. Yeah. Oh. There it is. In this one it is? Sure. Mm -hmm. Completely encapsulated in underfill, though. Like, that's just... Well, so I guess we should quit. Well, who wants to call her and tell her we can't do it? Uh, well, no. I don't want to. Okay. still do it. I'm just... I said, let's just try my line technique. <laughs> so we got to put a backlight filter. Yeah. 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 But, but is, is that the problem? What, Dave? I'd say chip around it and see what's there. Now each device has a ha, uses a different <laughs> substance. That's actually not underfill. Okay. That is a water protection rubbery stuff that is put there to keep water away from those components. So much for the water protection. Yeah, it failed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a fail right there. <laughs> If we're able to twist the board and maybe look at it from the other angle, there is some damage up at the top that you might be, you might be able to see. Hmm. We're just being in this environment. This part right it's here what? encapsulated oh. in, in, this, in this film, whatever, this waterproof coating. This side has been exposed, which is probably why it failed. This part got hit with water and it corroded right here. If you turn it from the other angle, you might be able to see it. It's just from the angle. I don't think we can. So Give that guy an exacto knife. So you're saying it probably, like, grounded on the boat. So yeah, there's going to be continuity across it because it is a filter, so you want to see, you want to test it against, <laughs> against the ground. The ground or the A good filter has continuity, yes or no? Yes. A bad filter has continuity, yes or no? No. Okay, so what's our plan here? Put the leads across the filter. I was doing snarky, sorry. <laughs> so touch the probes together so we're sure it's on and ready? Yeah. I believe in now. We're hoping for a beep. Okay, so Not me. Actually, it looks like it's lifted. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So, so when these go out, and they perform much like a fuse does, whereas a fuse, you have the uh, disconnection, like, it'll melt, and it'll just kind of fall. Yes, exactly. They're exactly like that. They're 100% like that. But the other ones that have insulation, they merge, like, so they're opposite. They're just kind of insulated. Oh, a capacitor? Yeah, yeah exactly. They're very yin and yang in concept. I thought yes. They were, I thought they were so guys, backlights fail because of filter, and what are the other possibilities? Diode, diode and not the coil. Not the coil. Filter diode and connector. Sometimes. So I want you to really look at the connector while it's here. You don't like the connection. Can we read the board a little bit and try to see where exactly the filter connects to the connector? So this is, so this is data recovery. So it's very, very practical. So I will tell you that I really like Alvin's concept, but I would edit it a little bit. So I want you to think about that. And stop fucking up my microscope. <laughs> and <laughs> oh God. Right on the board. <laughs> we got more problems now. Now we got it. Now it. Yeah. Now in that case, yeah. I want you guys as a group to sort of creatively flush out uh, the direction that Alvin's thinking is guiding you with with his with his concept of of like not fixing the backlight and trying to go ahead with being able to get the data in the absence of the backlight. Mm -mm. What if we only have the board power for a short amount of time? What's, uh, the pad power? What if it's going to cook, right, and we got 30 seconds? I'm not part of the team, actually. And right, well, I, I'm just, like, I But if, I we like see the, the if we see the Apple logo in the light, then we don't actually need the backlight. We could just yeah, put in the password true. from there with a the light and get the info. Wait, so tell me about that. Put in the password with a light. If, the if just the backlight is just out. Yeah. You can see, you can still see an image on the screen. Because How's that? Was, uh, Sometimes it's still, there, it's still, uh, still dim enough to, to display the Apple. Oh, it's still dim. The yeah. LCD yeah. But right now it's not still dim. displaying information, right now, but it's, it's not back yeah. so it's difficult to see. Okay. His point, I think, is that if you could, if you actually get LCD power, and the digitizer also works, even without a backlight, 
he might be able to see it well enough in order to enter the information. So is what you're saying supplementing the backlighting with uh, actual light? And what? actual light. And and light actions, even... That's right. I'm saying listen to Alvin and go with that. So continue. Really? Just try it. Okay. Let's do it, Alvin. I'm going to remove the dog. Now, wait. How are you going to supplement the backlight? Flashlight. From, that's what looks like a front light to me. Yeah, you're gonna have to I want you to supplement the backlight. It's going to have to come from behind. Oh, yeah, you have yeah. to get in between the board and the back. What? Let's hear it. What's your idea? you got to shine a uh, light in from behind, behind the screen it. to imitate the backlight as opposed to from the front of the screen. Mm -hmm. All right, now looking at that screen in his hand right now, what happens if you put just a light behind it? Does it actually There's come the through? No. You have to take the shield, yeah, take the shield off. off. Okay, so I'm hearing some more. So this is so I like the where this is going. <coughs> All right, but I don't want you to actually do that on my screen. Don't do that on your screen. Yeah. So let's. Uh, well, let me give you an assist here. So we'll just sort of put this down. Does this look useful to you guys? Yeah. Go for it. If it's needed, that's the beyond. Looks like you were right for us. Let me put a light behind you. Let's see if we remove the. Oh, that is my practical janky screen. Oh, yes. This is your show. What do you think? You want a flashlight? You want the ring? Oh, that actually looks pretty good. That looks pretty good? All right. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> that light is not enough to get my supplement with my flashlight. So we go ahead and remove the metal back. Yeah, update your team member, guys. And uh, the, the backlight plastic. Okay. So basically, we're going to try to simulate a backlight. Yeah. So we're just going to shine a flashlight backlight. through it because we have already got power. That's and, brilliant. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, because all I have to do is just take up that backlight and you just need to. Illuminate something, get a little bit of yeah. visual. It's called the janky light. <laughs> <laughs> the practical janky light. I'm going to start selling it in my store. <laughs> we call him the it's, like, it's what they use for uh, calculators and Game Boys back when they had, uh, like, Game Boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah Game Boys that had the light on top. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a model where you could take them apart and add a backlight. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. The board. Uh, the, the, hey, we got, a, we got an apple. What? We got an apple. We got an apple. Better than an orange. Move your hand. It, trust me, it's there. <laughs> Here. Ah, Holy so crap. Mint. Okay, ready? Okay, let us so see it. Let, move your hand out. You, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh, I see it. Lower yeah, the light, I lower the it. light. Closer lower to light. it. Drop the light more. Told you guys. See it. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Phone is on. Slide to unlock. Slide to unlock. All right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> one, one. You're like, this is so wild PCS. There it is. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, it's got, it's got, it's got a message. You got, it's got some messages. It's it's got message. What does it say? Uh, wait, did you even text that blindfolded? Uh, that was okay. what I wanted to see. <laughs> okay. Blindfolded upside down and with half a light? I think you can see it. Yeah, all right. Hold. Go onto this PC. What happened to my desktop? Yeah, desktop. Go to iTools. Where is that at? Down the folder, iTools. iTools EXE. Mm. Okay, go to photos. Um, is there any nude guys? Can you, can you guys close your eyes? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no gay porn. Or... You have been warned. <laughs> you have been warned. Hey, this is the same one you did earlier. With like the 10 freaking gigs or 20 gigs. Yeah, okay. Congratulations, you guys have solved this data recovery. So. Very good. <laughs> Surprise! I didn't actually let you fuck with my real customer's phone before I already did. Yeah, and the other the other shop that was that was me, you know. But uh, so so I I solved this last night, and then I thought it was a great story because this is exactly what we did, and I, I wanted you guys to walk this road yourselves, and you did, and I'm very proud of you. And uh, so what I did when uh, when I took off that bad cap, I saved it so that I could put it back on there for you guys to solve. So it was exactly as I, it was exactly as it was received. That's why it came off so easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it is, you know, like it, 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 I think that you guys did a fantastic job because this is exactly the road that we went down. And that's the janky screen that we made last night. And, 
and and used and did it exactly the same. That you had that available. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we did it two nights ago before. So we <laughs> on uh, on uh, oh, yeah. it was Mark's idea on the other right. the other day. Yeah. Well, well done, Mark. You know, but I would like, and this hasn't been done for you guys to solve the backlight because then I think this phone has a good chance of actually working as a phone. So when I do data recovery, I don't guarantee the function of the phone. If we if we put it back together right now, it's not going to work. Well, I don't keep it. She has to turn it in for insurance. But she, um, but that phone, how does the board look? Terrible. The board is not that bad. Other than the one cap, it's good. Yeah. So could this, in your good conscience, could this actually be a functional phone? Oh, totally, 100%. But not if it doesn't have a backlight. Right? So why don't you guys kind of revisit and, and go f and now fix, see if you can fix the backlight. And then. Ship Alvin back with the phone. <laughs> yeah, we'll ship it with a janky screen and a, and a little flashlight tool. You know. It would blow the customer's mind. Yeah. Well, how do you guys feel about that? That was a legitimate data recovery. And, you know, I, I did copy these pictures. You saw me do that this morning. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you're like, wait a minute. You know, but, but this, you know, so, so you were unaware that this was, you know, that, you know, this, but it was exactly the same, exactly the same path that we just went down. And your next step would be to then save, you know, check all export as, Save 128 gigs of, you know, remember back to the note. I mean, that's really amazing. You know, this is really important to this person. I don't know, maybe, yeah. She might, you know. she might really enjoy. Uh, yeah, it's a great story. Yeah. She might, she might <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but congratulations. And Alvin, I, I'm, I think you were really key to your idea of let's not fix the backlight. Because you guys were totally going to go down that road and, and it would take the, the whole. Uh, we can't do that. I was afraid of it not showing anything at all. I just, you know, wasting that time for nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, well done, guys.